All right, so welcome back. In the last tutorial, we actually activated our 2012 child theme, and then we did a very, very simple customization where we just changed the background color to red. Um, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to show you kind of a neat trick how we go about changing this screenshot right here so that we actually have something here. So we're not just clicking on this boring gray checker box, okay? So to do this, we first of all need to create a screenshot. Now what I did here is I was a little bit lazy. All I did was I just took a pre-existing screenshot and I just inverted it. And this is what it looks like, okay? Um, normally you would actually probably take the time to tab a, an actual screenshot of your site. But for the time being, we're just going to use this as an example. Okay. And so there's my screenshot and you'll notice it's actually quite big. Okay. If I, I do command I on here, I can show you that the size is actually 880 by 660. So that's 880 pixels wide by 660 pixels high. Okay. And that is the recommended image size for any screenshots that you want to associate with any theme. Okay. Now the interesting thing is that here it doesn't show it that big, right? It actually will only show it as technically speaking, it only shows it as 387 by 290 uh, pixels on the actual screen, but we use the larger image. So in order to allow for high resolution viewing, if somebody happens to have a super high resolution monitor, so maybe that's a little bit more detail, but I just want to make sure you understood this. That's why the 880 by 660 size is recommended. So you can just use, if you happen to have Photoshop, or or any sort of image editor. You can just create an image that is that size. It does have to be a PNG uh, type of image file or PNG. That is very, very important. Um, and it needs to be called screenshot.png. Okay. So what I've done, this is a PNG file. We know it's a PNG file. We need to make sure to save it in the correct format. So make sure when you're saving it in Photoshop that you are saving as a PNG file. We've called it screenshot.png. And so we need to put this inside our child theme folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and open CyberDuck right over here. I'm going to open up my 2012 child theme. And again, this is an optional thing. We don't need to have this technically speaking, strictly speaking for our child theme to work, but I want to have it available just because I think it's kind of a neat thing to do. And so I, because one of the things I like about using CyberDuck is I can just drag this over and I can just upload this. So we're just waiting for that to upload right now. And there it is. I'll just refresh that just to make sure. Here it is right here. Our screenshot is located right inside here. As soon as you put a, a file called screenshot.png inside a themes folder, okay, that is going to be recognized by WordPress as the screenshot for your theme. So let's go ahead and reload this and voila. There it is right there. Isn't that cool? So you might want to add the word child on here. You might want to, you know, do some sort of really funky custom screenshot for yourself if you'd like. Um, but that's how you create a custom screenshot for your child theme. Okay. So that's it for the basics. In the, the next video, I'm going to go over, kind of do a quick review of the stuff that we learned. And I'm also going to talk about where you go next. What are the next steps in terms of customizing your child theme? And what is the type of stuff that you can do with child themes? Okay, so I'll catch you then.